How does we get DPC watchdog violation error? What is DPC watchdog violation? Why should I get DPC watchdog violation error? So these are the questions in your mind and you have come up to find the answers for these questions. So in this video we are going to see what is DPC watchdog violation, why it is occurs and how does we troubleshoot these errors to resolve this issue. So hello guys, this is Nilesh Kamble from WindowsITExperts.com and in this video we are going to see how to troubleshoot issues related to DPC watchdog violation error. So first of all, we have to understand what is DPC watchdog violation. The DPC stands for Deferred Procedure Call. Watchdog refers to bug checker which usually monitors or track your Windows programs and your PC performance. So when you see a violation message your watchdog or bug checker is overwhelmed and that's why you're getting this message probably because a dpc is running too longer time or your system is stuck at interrupt request level or a dispatch level and why are you getting this uh, error is in most cases you will see this error when your device driver is outdated or installed wrongly. For example, you, if you haven't installed the video card driver for your new operating system, DPC watchdog violation could easily happen when you try to watch a video online. In some cases, incompatible hardware with your operating system can be the cause as well. For example, if you install external hardware and is not longer supported by Windows 10 or that have recently installed a new hardware device on your older computer, you will see DPC watchdog violation error as well. Sometimes uh, this could also cause by software conflict and but it is not most of the time because of software. So how to troubleshoot this error and how do we resolve it? So the first method is to update the drivers of your SATA hard disk. So to do this, we have to go to device manager and to go to device manager, we can use comp MGMT from run box or right click on the start and click on device, right click on the start and click on device manager. Device manager will open and we have to select IDE, ATA, ATA API controllers. We have to select standard SATA AHCI controller and right click on it and go to properties. We have to check the drivers and click on the driver tab and click on the driver details. In the driver details you can see this particular driver is used to manage the SATA controller. Now we are going to update this driver with clicking update driver. and it will open the update drivers window you can select browse my computer for a driver software if you have downloaded the driver on your computer and stored it somewhere if you have internet connection and wants to check it automatically for updated driver software you can select this i have selected searching online for drivers and it is now connecting to drivers vendors website and it is now giving us the best drivers for your device are already installed message and this is properly updated now we are going to close this out close this close this and moving on to next method the next method is to check the disk errors of our hard disk to do this type cmd in the search box you will see command prompt and right click on it click run as administrator because normal user would not be able to run check disk on the system we have to run check disk with administrative privileges type check disk slash question mark and press enter it will give you help related to check disk command and it will show you different different reports for all the commands now we are going to use slash f and slash r slash f is used to fix error on the disk and slash r locates bad sectors 
and recover readable information. Type check disk slash f space slash r and it will ask you for the approval of starting the check disk the next time you restart the system. So I will click sorry I will press Y and press enter on my keyboard and it is now set to check check disk on my next restart. So I am going to restart the computer and once restarted it will start the check disk without booting into uh, Windows uh, OS. So now you can see it is uh, starting a check disk and you will see the messages related to it. If you want to skip disk checking press any key within 4 seconds 3 seconds. So I am not going to skip it I am going to do check disk on my computer. Now it is uh, completed 33 percentage and I am going to stop this uh, uh, I am going to pause this video and I will back when it is completed 100%. So now check this is completed and I have login into my system and my system is now working fine although I was not getting error you have to check if you are getting this error or not or if you are still getting this error you have to try the other methods as well. So moving on to next method is to check the reliability of your system. In the search bar you have to type reliability in the view reliability history you will see errors warnings and information events which is fetched from your in event viewer so you can see uh, on the 23rd i was having some error message on my computer and my windows was not properly shut down if I click on the view technical details it will give me date and time and on this date and time you can check the event in the event viewer. So to check event viewer we have to type eventvwr in the run box and press enter it will open event viewer. Now in the event viewer you have to expand windows logs and click on the system we have to filter current logs click on the filter current log click on the errors and critical click on ok so you can see only uh, critical and error events and uh, if i check the date and time 20 th 20 38 so on the 20 38 I was getting this error you can check this one kernel power and the event is the system has rebooted without cleanly shutting down first the error could be the cause if the system stop responding crash or lost power unexpectedly so this is not giving you the proper information of uh, uh, what was the reason and uh, the solution of your problem but uh, the next errors you can check the errors uh, in this uh, event viewer and you can find the corrupted driver which is causing issue for dpc watchdog error so you, you can find uh, event by filtering errors and troubleshoot on that basis so that's it for this video and if you like this video please subscribe to my channel please hit that like button if you like the video hit that dislike button if you don't like this video if you have not been able to resolve this issue and if you want to get the new updates new video updates of my channel you can turn on notifications after subscribing to my channel thanks and bye bye take care